so the methods there are a million methods and they're all um, band-aids to go to the cure <coughs> you have to go to the cure to the source to what's real stay with what is real it's, it's no problem with enjoying dream events but the miserable dream events which is basically I am a me in time and space and oh my god what's gonna happen to me what's gonna happen to others what's gonna happen to my mother and my neighbors and if I do this and if I do that all of that is so convincing but it's not real it's very convincing that people live lots of lots of people it's about everybody live their life you know based on that those me impressions and feelings and thoughts and we forget about the presence of the presence is it our universal beingness now that is where love is love is this universal beingness not me loving you you know oh if I do this it'll be good for you no no what is good for me is good for the entire universe yeah, so I am all so I am I am love listening beingness presence intelligence I recognize everybody as myself but if there is a me and the others me and another that's very complicated it's a web in fact in our experience we never experience another Look right now at your experience. Are you experience, experiencing any other? Or are you experiencing yourself? You have to go to your experience. Do you ever experience another? How could you experience another? You are I. I am I. How can I experience another? What other? You have to contemplate that. We only experience our perceptions, our sensations, our thoughts. Right now we're experiencing our thoughts, our perceptions, our sensations. We perceive, we experience our, what they're made out of ourselves. They're made out of consciousness. So when the negative emotions arise, you have assumed yourself to be a me, a person that is vulnerable, that should be treated in this way, in that way, in that way. There are rules and regulations. There is, and there may be violations, and there are consequences to those violations. And that's what all the negative emotions are about. They're about assuming myself to be this person, a body-mind event, and the world is out there and others are out there. But when I look in all sincerity within myself at what am I truly, what is it that is real, I only find consciousness, presence. And if you do find a me, because it may, may happen, who knows, then what is it that has found a me? Mind. Huh? Mind. Mind? You said mind? Supposed mind. <laughs> wow. 
uh, mind. Yeah, mind, mind is part of me. It's part of the illusion, but it's, it's the way I use the term mind is thought. This is can we agree to that? So thought, meaning mind, is known. You know a thought, right? You know a thought like you know the thought I love New York City. But the thought is not knowing. It's the same level. Of, it's the same level of my mind and, and me. It's the same level mm -hmm. of, of illusion. It's it's so mind is perceived is known. But when you find a me, say, "Oh, I found a me. I found a me." What is it that found a me? There has to be something that perceives, that knows. And it has to be I. It's not, I'm not, it's not my neighbor who found, who found a me. So even when you find, a, you find a me, there still is the question, well, what is it that's, find, that's finding this me? Anyways, this is theoretical because you will not find a me, so... <laughs> <laughs> similar advice, but I'm wondering um, if you have anything to add when the painful contraction is around doubt. Yes. Because that seems more between, I don't know, not me and other people. Mm -hmm. Yes. So doubt, doubt comes hand in hand with you setting, you setting uh, yourself a target. Right. Setting yourself a target and uh, 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 it's not necessarily a high target or a low target, but setting a target. When you set yourself a target, you also have also simultaneously set yourself a certain level of skills, let's say. You know, all that is so subtle in the thinking and feeling around. And so now there is this set of imagined skills and limitations because it's if skills are, they're not infinite, you know, so there is a limitation to them, and there is a, a certain target, then you are in the realm of doubt. Um, so it's important to understand that you're doing that to yourself, okay, and it's an, it's an unhappy, it's an unhappy doing, it's, there isn't anything sweet in that, there isn't any, and, and it, I understand that uh, in, for many of us, that we probably came out in a culture where uh, we were sort of maybe fear from our family or our educational institution uh, sort of pushed to meet certain targets or to excel or just you know really an awful an awful way of of uh, edu bringing education or. or and so we may have inherited this, and now it's sort of maybe built in, you know. In but it's important to see it, you know, to to see oh, what the, that's what's that's what's going on, and that is unnecessary, and that 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 cannot that does not. Work. It does not work. It does not deliver what you are trying to aim for. All what you desire comes to you out of love. And it's best you align yourself with the love. You align yourself with the uh, abundance, the serendipity, the magic, the bountifulness of consciousness. You are a channel to that. And 
consciousness which flows right through. And as it's flowing, it's this magic wand, it's this magic wand. And So you trust consciousness, you trust the self, you trust that magic. And uh, in your, your daily life, you know, you, you do your best as long as you are taking in consideration not just your person, but whatever, who, wh whoever, whatever else is in your space, which is very beautiful, because it it resonates, and it's gonna to to bloom. And but but you don't judge yourself or you judge others and you don't uh, look back in when you make a decision when you apply yourself in the body mind realm there are limitations and within these limitations within this, not just limited, within the possibilities, you have a space on the stage to dance. When you dance, you dance. It doesn't have to please anybody or aim at pleasing anybody. It's just the dance is coming out of your freedom, your love. And, of course, you take in consideration that there are others on the stage and the harmony. Of the whole. And this way of uh, living is contagious. It's recognized at a deep level in your space. And there is a, a resonance in people's hearts. They might not even know it at the mind level. But it doesn't matter. It's very painful what what parents and teachers do to the young. This pushing and this pressure and this competition. The mind is so convincing. It's you download the story, you know, you totally buy into it and you're sort of pushing and pushing. But it's a virus, it's a virus. You don't need to. You're already in the bliss of the self. You are. And that's what's beautiful. That's a real beauty. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yeah.